So ladies and gentlemen, last stop today is in front of the old church of St. Polyoktos, which was built here in the 6th century AD by one of the famous family members in the 6th century AD. Her name was Anikia Juliana, an empress at the time of Justinian and Theodora. She built here a church named after the local saints, St. Polyoktos, and the church was here in size a little larger than the Mosque of Suleiman the Magnificent, smaller than the Church of St. Sophia, as a church that existed here till the Latin occupation of Constantinople. It was built in the 6th century AD, by 527 AD, was completed and was known, known to be destroyed at the time of the Fourth Crusades in the 13th century AD, when the Fourth Latin Crusade came here in 1204, the church was intact. In fact, one of the pieces of the marble works from this very church recently was discovered in St. Mark's Square in Venice. It's known as the Statue of the Four Tetrarchs, the Four Sons of Constantine the Great, made of porphyry column and piece of marble, was uh, taken from here to St. Mark's at the time of the Fourth Crusades. So this church was a very large church in size, and Anike Giuliana had her palace on the other side, which we will introduce to you very soon, where we have today the municipality building of Istanbul, as they discovered floor mosaics going back to the 6th century AD. It was discovered during the excavation of this uh, municipality hall in the 1950s. Today, the church facing east, in the direction where we stand today, is in need of some restoration. But lucky we are, we have a Saint Sophia built from the same time intact today. Anike Giuliana, in a way, was a rival of Empress Theodora, and that's one of the reasons why she wanted to surpass the size of the building which Giuliana Anike had built. Justinian wanted a larger church to be built, surpassing the size of the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem. At the same time, Theodora wanted to surpass the building of Anike Giuliana. And so today's St. Sophia Church, which then was a mosque and is a museum in our times, surpassed the size of the remains of the church where we stand today. So now we move our scene from the place of the church across the street. In the distance we can see the Sea of Marmara as well as the Municipality Hall, which was excavated in the 1950s and finished in time. And as we zoom around, we come to the Mosque of the Prince, the Shehzade Mosque, one of the works of Sinan, the master architect, where he started as an architect at the age of 50, completed in 1548, and then, built right next to it, is the famous aqueduct of Emperor Valens, a fantastic 4th century AD remains of Constantinople, as part of the water transportation system of the town of Constantinople, under which the traffic moves today, connecting the 3rd and the 4th hills of the town of Constantinople, on the third hill, we have the Mosque of Suleiman the Magnificent, whereas on the fourth hill, we have the Mosque of Fatih today, under which of the Holy Apostles existed, where they found a lot of the burials of the Byzantine emperors. And finally, 
we come back to this very special day where you see Mustafa Kemal Atatürk on the municipality on the 86th year anniversary of the republic that he had founded back in 1923. A very jubilant day in Istanbul is coming to an end with your introduction to the most beautiful town the way I see it. Thank you for your wonderful audience.